We want to stay focused, stay in love, stay in forgiveness, because we're working for the Lord. Hey everybody and welcome to the CCC webinar today. I just want to uh, thank you all. Dr. Ben and I want to thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being such amazing clients. Thank you for all that you do for humanity through chiropractic, all the lives that you touch. Thank you, thank you, thank you during this Thanksgiving season that we're in right now. We appreciate you so much. And we just want to say thank you, thank you for all that you do. Well, we're winding down the year. There's just maybe five weeks left of the year, maybe four. And we want to go into the new year with a clean heart, a clean mind, and we want to walk in with total forgiveness. We won't want to have any bondage hanging on to us. We want to start off fresh. We want to be that clean, hollow vessel to be used by God through the vehicle of chiropractic. So the scripture talks about that there's only one thing that we can't get away from, or one of the things that we can't get away from in life is offense. We're all gonna be offended. It, 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 it doesn't matter whether we like it or not, offense will come. Offense will come through our team members, Offense will come through our family members. Offense will come through our practice members, our colleagues. And we have to be free of offense. They, the, the disciples, they, they said to Jesus, how, how much should we forgive? Once, twice, three times, four times, Jesus said, seven times 70. Walking in forgiveness. And you know, forgiveness, in my opinion, and thankfulness kind of comes together. And then the disciple said, and I think it was Peter, increase our faith. Your level of forgiveness is your level of, of faith, when you think about it, the larger you are to forgive, the larger and greater faith. It talks about to each one of us is given a measure of faith. And also, it says that if we don't forgive, then we're not going to be forgiven. And that if we don't forgive, and this is hard, but it's a fact that if we don't forgive, then God's not going to answer our prayers. Even since don't let the sun go down on your wrath before you go to sleep at night, right? So we need to be clear. We need to be that clean, hollow vessel that God can use our hands to lay on as many people as possible to give specific scientific chiropractic adjustments, being that clean, hollow vessel, walking in total forgiveness. It's, it's not worth it to let anybody block what God would have for you, I personally believe, in my opinion, by having any type of unforgiveness. And it's 
hard to forgive, but how do you how do you forgive? You know, something kind of builds up on you in you, and you, you just you can't get it out of you. Well, it, it says in the scripture after uh, the Lord's talking about forgiving in Luke that if you have faith as a mustard seed, speak, speak, speak to that unforgiveness that's within you and tell it to go, tell it to leave. Whatever is bottling you up, what I do is I say, come out and go, leave now. And I don't accept it because I want to be free. You want to be free. And when we attach ourselves to offense or unforgiveness, we get bottled up and really expressing healing through us is stymied. So unforgiveness is really, when you think about it, deadly to what we're striving for in life and our practices and our vision mapping and our goals and everything that we're doing and striving. And we say, my gosh, why, why are my collections not coming in like they should? Why aren't anybody coming to my group doctor's report, my workshops. Why is my volume down? Why, 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 what's going on? I'm praying, I'm doing everything, but what is stopping it? So I'm gonna ask you before we start this new year, and I have to speak to myself also, is, is there any unforgiveness that you're harboring that you need to let go, let God, and if it's attached, tell it to go and be free. And then the windows of heaven will manifest. And then the new patients come, then the volume increases, then the collections increase, and then we expand, and then the blessings flow. God's answering our prayers. It's happened to me, and um, I, I mean, if you're living, it's probably happened to everybody, but we have to, as soon as it starts to attach this unforgiveness, we have to rebuke it and tell it to go, casting down, in Colossians, it says, all false imaginations that will come against your mind because the enemy of our soul wants us to brew and fester in unforgiveness. But God Almighty wants us for, to forgive just like he's forgiven us. And then it's such a wonderful way to live in non-offense, even though it's gonna come, living in forgiveness, turn the other cheek, Love, 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 because God is love. Love for the sake of loving. And then what I found in my life, signs and wonders and miracles manifest greater, greater healing virtue in removing subluxation and getting people well and greater joy, which is our strength because what we find in life is that when we fester unforgiveness, there's lack of joy, and then there's weakness because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And when we lose that joy, it's hard to go to the office. Patients offend us. Patients we think are going to refer don't. We all go through it as doctors, but we want to stay focused, stay in love, stay in forgiveness, 
because we're working for the Lord. I've said it many times. You've heard me serve God by serving man through the vehicle of specific, let's say it, specific, scientific, chiropractic, walking as a clean, hollow vessel to be used by God, walking in forgiveness, love, and joy. And then what I found is, in my life, increase and expansion and a yoke of lightness and this peace, 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 peace as it passes all human understanding. God bless you. You guys rock. Again, the happy Thanksgiving. I know our Canadian friends, you already celebrated Thanksgiving in October. We'll see you in a few days, December 7th, the land of Florida. It's gonna rock. We're gonna finish up this year strong and you're gonna blast off into 2025 with the best year you've ever had. God bless you all. Remember, with God, all things are possible. Speak to you soon.